I think it's quite sort of helpful to, to define what fuel poverty actually is. And it's, uh, it's when uh, a household is spending more than 10% of its disposable income mm. on heating. Mm. Um, there was a statute, the last government set in a, a, a statutory target to get rid of uh, fuel poverty in vulnerable houses by 2010 and in all uh, houses by 2016. So to give you an idea of kind of how, how it's going, uh, and these figures are actually slightly alarming. In 2007, there were around 4 million uh, fuel poor households in the UK, and that's up from 3.5 million in 2006. Last winter, it was estimated there, are, there were 5 million houses. There is, of course, um, the, the, uh, an extra problem, which is the, the, the fact that fuel prices are going up, and, and this is something else which is a difficult one. And I won't look to a, a, a particular energy company by blame for that, but you have a lot of factors which you have to take into account. Um, fuel prices are in US dollars. The pound is weak against the US dollar. That is a factor. Um, you've got the rarity value. You've got all sorts of things that are going on. China is hugely industrializing, so they're buying enormous quantities of fuel to heat blast furnaces and all the rest of it, and power stations. So there's a lot of factors going on um, that are contributing to fuel poverty. We have to help people. To, um, you know, to, to be more fuel efficient. Um, and also, going forward, we have got to have houses that are being built in such a way that we are incredibly fuel efficient, which we are now doing, and, and it's incumbent on us to start legislating this harder to make sure that we do this.